Hey everybody, I am uh, getting all set up. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit sick still. Uh, I've been sick all week. But today I feel, I think I feel good enough to live stream. I might be coughing a little bit throughout the stream, but I'm trying to set up a, a secondary cat cam on my phone. So let me know how I sound. I'll be on in just a second. I know I'm, I'm running a little hey, late. I'm sorry about I that, am, but yeah, uh, let me know how I sound. Okay, bye. Set up. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit sick still. Uh, I've been sick all week. But today I feel, I think I feel good enough to live stream. I might be coughing a little. Okay, I think I fixed that echo. Is it echoing anymore? Hello, hello.
Okay, I finally got my cat cam working. Now I need to just uh, get all the materials, but I'm almost done. I'm almost ready. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Give me strength! Hello, everybody. Can you see me? Can you hear me? I hope so. I got the chat here. I. Hold on. Yeah. Jimbo. I know. We left the door open for you. Are you going to be nice? We set it up so that you have a cat cam. Check it out. Check it out. Here we go. Now, there's no cat in the cat cam right now, but we have a cat cam set up, and it's kind of dope. Uh, so I'm going to turn it off. Is 
the cat cam? This one? No, which one is it? Oh man. Maybe I am too thick to do it. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Okay, 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 okay. We're all set up now. Hi, everybody. It's a little glitchy for Willow. Am I a little loud? Am I, like, why, how is it glitchy? Is the, is the voice glitchy? Because I, I was noticing it being a little glitchy on my phone, too. But, yeah, let me know. Okay. Hi, everybody. Thank you for your patience. I'm so sorry I'm running slow today. Um, I'm literally running slow today. I have had a uh, cold all week. Um, I babysat some kids last week, and I'm pretty sure they gave me a cold. And that's okay, you know, that happens. I uh, haven't had a cold in a while, so, you know, <clears throat> it's going to be the way it is. Uh, I will definitely be coughing in this live stream. I did literally just take some DayQuil um, right before I hit go. Uh, so maybe that'll kick in too. Um, the camera is lagging a little bit for Willow. Is that happening for other people as well? Let me know. Let's see, is Jimbo in his spot? No, he's, sit he's literally, he's sitting under the cat cam right now. Um, well, hello everybody. Again, I'm so sorry about my delay and, uh, blah, 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 uh, boogeriness. I, I'm, I don't know if you can tell the boogeriness from the video but I feel very boogery right now and <clears throat> but not as bad as yesterday Saftar can't hear anything I, it might be because you're muted I don't know because I think you're the only one that can't hear anything okay well huh, with that over let's talk about what we're doing today we're back in the light box today we are going to be crocheting a uh a treasure chest specifically I thought it'd be fun to make another crocheted mimic um, just cuz you know uh, it's just a fun a fun idea um, so that's what we're gonna be doing today if you want to crochet along with me let's talk about all the materials that you're gonna need uh, and then how you can support this channel and then we'll get crocheting um, if you want to crochet along with me, here are the materials that you're going to need. I'm going to be using all worsted weight yarn, 100% cotton today. I haven't crocheted this pattern in a while, but I do know that you need brown for the main color of the treasure chest, gold for the accent color, and then a little bit of white, and that's going to be for the teeth if we add teeth. I also have toothpicks that I thought might be kind of fun to try for the teeth if the, um, the white yarn doesn't work. For the crochet hook, I'm using a size G 4 millimeter crochet hook today. We'll be using a darning needle. I'm using a crimped end darning needle to help me get in and out of hard to reach stitches, a pair of scissors, and a uh, some safety eyes if you want to add eyes to your um, character today. We might be painting our safety eyes, but I actually don't know where my paint, my whiteout is, because that's usually what I use for my paint. So. I don't know, we'll have to figure that out when we get there. I also have some gold buttons to add to the treasure chest so that way, you know, it has gold buttons. But yeah, that's all the materials that you're gonna need. If you wanna get the pattern, I have it available right here at clubcrochet.com slash treasure. You can also find a link in the description and uh, in the chat right now. Okay, so yes, we and you're gonna need some grapes and little uh, pieces of cheese for your um, toothpicks, just like uh, just like Lara, Lara said in the in the chat, <laughs> not really. Um, <clears throat> today, uh, uh, yeah, ba ba ba. Okay, as you can tell, my brain's a little bit fried, but I think I'm all right. I think I'll survive. Um, if you like what's going on here and you want to help support this channel, you want to uh, help support what's going on here. Uh, there's a few ways you can do so. The first, uh, easiest, bestest way is uh, by just liking and subscribing down below. It's a great way to support the channel and it's totally free. Um, if this video gets another, I think I said 250 likes. So we did 250 likes last live stream. I'm just gonna keep that number going. If this video gets 250 likes, we'll do another giveaway next live stream because we actually have a giveaway going right now 
um, that you could find in the uh, description, a link to in the description. All you really need to do is fill out a little form. It's basically just asking which color of dragon you would want to crochet because we're giving away a crochet dragon kit. So yeah, uh, that's where you can enter the giveaway. Uh, again, there's links in the description and da, 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 da. oh yeah if you want to help support monetarily that's right if you want to help support monetarily there's a few ways you can do that um uh you can purchase kits and merch in the store we have brand new uh um uh jimbo t-shirts that are really cute i wish i had the t-shirt on but it's not clean and i was uh not into doing laundry today so i didn't do that but in a few weeks where, where are they we're gonna have I do have Jimbo stickers that I got made oh here they are I got Jimbo stickers made that I'll be adding to the to the website this week and I've got pins on the way too so that's kind of cool um what else oh yeah a membership that's probably the best way to help support if you want to members get early access to future patterns they get access to the exclusive library of tutorials i add new ones every single month and this is actually a pattern that's in the club crochet library it only costs five dollars a month to sign up it's a great way to support the channel uh all your support goes directly to the channel and uh you get a whole bunch of patterns like hundreds and hundreds of crochet patterns so many and i add new ones every month uh and it's just a really good way to support this channel um and then the last way is by tipping if you really like what's going on here you can tip and see my little hand there hello wow that one's really lagging look at that well anyhow that doesn't need to be not lagging anyhow um i'll add something to the background right here for you if you would like to tip um ten dollars gets you added to the tree here uh $50 gets you added to the box and then uh 25 or more gets you added to our scene down here we might change things up eventually since the scene isn't really getting as much attention as the other ones we might have to spread out I don't know we'll figure it out though <coughs> there's the first cop um no idea where you can get gold yarn I believe this is actually lily sugar and cream yarn I think it's or maybe it's Bernat. I don't know. Um, but 100% cotton. Yeah, that's the, the problem is getting gold yarn in the same style as your brown yarn. Um, I used to have kits available, but I don't anymore. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, thank you again for being patient with me and dealing with my sick sickliness. Um, I could really use some some buddies right now. So I'm really happy to have the chat with me because I have been alone all week with uh, sickness and I'm a very extroverted person. And sometimes, I don't know, it's hard to be alone when you're sick and extroverted, even though it's kind of sometimes nice too. I don't know, I miss people. And I'm glad that I have the chat to hang out with today. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna drink a little bit more of my coffee too because that is not in my blood, which probably isn't helping. Okay. Well, let's get crocheting. We have actually a pretty big pattern today. Um, did I paint the buttons myself? No, I didn't. I actually bought them this way. Uh, and when I bought them, I had to buy a thousand of these buttons. So I have so many of them. So I was like, well, we got to make more things for these buttons to go for, to go on. Um, all right, let's get our workspace a little bit spread out here. We'll just, we'll keep that on screen now. Keep our scissors here. Um, side and we're gonna need our brown yarn okay so and let's also I guess the manual I guess the auto hopefully the auto focus doesn't mess with us too much um hi Becky how are you uh, Ivy when does Jules get back she doesn't get back till April like mid-April um, but I'm going up there next weekend to say to see her show and I'm very very excited um, okay, so we're gonna start by making the arches for our treasure chest. This pattern has a lot of different sections that are all sewn together by like crocheting them together. Again, I haven't made this pattern in a long time. So I don't know how it's gonna go, uh, but we're gonna figure it out together. 
together. Um, I think it's been literally years since I've made this pattern, so there's a lot to figure out. Uh, but yeah. Oh, Milo is sick also. Well, I totally feel you. Have a good day. And uh, yeah, I, I hope you feel better. Four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven. I also have a really sore neck right now because Jimbo and Phoebe, my two cats, have been asleep. Oh, you know what? Let's check if Jimbo's in his spot. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's game time. All right, cat cam, go. Cat cam, totally cat cam. All right, sorry about the loud ding. My uh, my notifications are supposed to be turned off. Okay, cat cams a go. That's awesome. It is totally working. Oh, thank you for letting me know, Cooper. I, I, as you know, I'm pretty fuzzy right now, so I really appreciate the extra heads up. Cooper, thank you so much for the tip. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I hope you feel better. Oh, thank you so much. All right, let's add something to the background for Coop real quick. <clears throat> let's see, what do we add for Coop? Let's see. Super Koopa, du super dupa Koopa. Hey Cooper, are you excited to see the new um, the new Mario movie and see a bunch of Koopas? We're gonna add a bunny. It's almost Easter. I feel like a bunny is fair. Fair game. You know, Easter's less than a month away. Let's bunnify this. Oh, it just goes right on top of that mouth. It's perfect. Boop, boop. Don't fall. Okay, good. And then a quick little cat cam check. Wow, adorable. All right, back to the hand. <laughs> Oh, I love my cat so much. <laughs> All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That is correct. All right. Just back loops and crochet into each. All right. Yeah, I am so excited for the Mario movie. Uh, I'm really, really excited. I really wish, I think it's gonna come out when Jules isn't here, so I'm either gonna have to wait to go see it or go see it twice to go see it with Jules because I know she really wants to see it too. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited to see, uh, there's a, gonna be a blue-shelled Koopa, which is like a brand new idea. I'm really excited to see what that's all about and just, I just love Mario. Cooper doesn't have the highest hopes for it. You know, I would, I have like a, I think it's gonna probably be about a, maybe an eight, seven, maybe a seven actually. That's my hopes. Um, if it's if it's a C, I'm gonna be happy. But I, I get why you wouldn't have the highest hopes for it. I mean, it is illumination, and in the in my history, I'm not super into illumination movies. But also, I love Mario, and I love Jack Black, so that's going to be fun. But, we'll see. Um, I did like the Sonic movies. Someone asked if I liked the Sonic movies. I really did like the uh, the Sonic movies a lot. Um, yeah, I actually saw both of them in theaters. I saw the first one in theaters twice, which is... Like, I don't see any movies in theaters twice. And I didn't see it in twice because it was like a, you know, a movie I had to see in theaters twice. I think it was just, I just happened to have, to see it twice in theaters. Um, but yeah, I, I did like it. I liked it a lot. Um, I love Jim Carrey though too. So it was just really nice to see him on screen again. Uh, and I definitely thought, you know, I don't know how many times I'm going to see Jim Carrey on the big screen again because it doesn't seem like he's he's really into the into being in movies anymore so that was one of the reasons i really wanted to see it also how can i talk and count stitches at the same time you know what i was actually just talking to my mom about that yesterday um 
and I've talked about this on the live stream before, but there is a, um, a scientist, this is gonna be a long-winded answer to your question. Um, I, I, let's go with, let's start with this. Too long, didn't read. I think my brain works uh, where counting and, and like, counting and my, and vocalization is not in the same area of my brain, I'm pretty sure, uh, which is why I can do both at the same time. But long-winded version of this <clears throat> is a story time. Um, I have a headache too, Willow, so I totally get it. Uh, my headache's actually, I think, more of a neck ache at this point. But yesterday, I was, it was like, I could feel my heartbeat in my brain. So there is a, uh, a scientist named Richard Feynman. Uh, he was actually one of the scientists on the Manhattan Project along, you know, to make the nuclear bomb. But in the, I think it was in like the 70s or 80s, um, he was doing experiments and uh, he he realized that he couldn't count numbers and read a book at the same time. And he was telling one of his colleagues that. He was like, I don't know why, but I can't read and count at the same time. I've never noticed it before, but yeah. And his colleague was like, what? That's ridiculous. I can totally count and read at the same time. And he, and he, read, the, he read a chapter of a book and... And he said, 60, that was 60 seconds. Uh, uh, and I was counting while I was reading. And Richard was like, whoa, that is wild. And then upon like talking about it more, he realized that um, his friend, when he counted, when his friend counted, he, um, I can't remember, I can't remember the exact details of it, but essentially, his friend visualized counting, um, like literally visually. He when he when he imagined counting one, two, three, four, five, six, he saw it as like a calendar, like with the numbers flipping, which let him use like his uh, his imagination used like his ocular side of his brain to count, whereas Richard used the his his vocalization part of his brain to count he counted audibly in his head one two three and he read audibly so he couldn't do both at the same time because his brain was being used up by the part of the brain that count or that that used <laughs> look at me i can't do both right now uh that used audibly that used the audible section of his brain so he couldn't do both at the same time whereas his friend could and when he realized this, it, it like unlocked a, a whole slurry of questions and answers in his brain because he realized that not only like this, this is the case for everything. His friend thinks completely different than he did. And because of that, everything in the world is going through a completely different filter in his friend's brain than it is through his own brain. And so we're trying to teach each other you know, th this is why I was talking to my mom about this was because I was talking about teaching because she's a teacher uh, and I obviously I teach crochet online and I was like, I was like when I started Club Crochet, um, I was really into this this study uh, from Richard Feynman and I thought it it's really important. It was really important to me to um, offer a lot of different ways of teaching how to crochet because I realized that everybody is learning differently. Some people are learning audibly. Some people are learning uh, via the written instructions. And then some people need the visual instructions. They need videos, they need pictures. And so, I don't know, it's just, it just completely changed the way that I thought and, uh, and made me realize that everybody is learning and thinking differently than me. And if I wanna communicate the, if I want to communicate how I feel to someone else, I have to acknowledge that they are perceiving my communications in a different way than I am expecting them to perceive it. So I need to be more mindful and more patient with someone understanding me because they're probably going th through a different course of taking my words and turning it into meaning they're they're taking it from like here to there whereas i thought they were going to go like that you know so i don't know it's just it's an interesting study i highly suggest you check out um uh 
interviews with, with Richard Feynman. He is a super duper interesting scientist and he talks about just so many different laws of physics and stuff in a way that was really, I'm not a scientist, you know, I don't, I'm, I, I just crochet, I'm an artist. So the fact that Richard Feynman can like explain really detailed and complex ideas and, and and laws of physics to me in a way that I understood was a really big deal to me in my in my like early 20s and I don't know I highly suggest you you google Richard Feynman he's a very interesting dude and uh yeah whoo so there's that long-winded answer sorry about that but I hope you I hope you learned something from that just like I did um all right Let's, speaking of counting, we want to do 10 rounds of this. Two, four, six, eight. I think we got one more round to go. This should be my ninth. Um, Becky asks, do you think you could design any Disney characters, Mickey, Minnie, etc.? You know, I <clears throat> there's a few characters out there that I really want to design, but I choose not to. Uh, for fear of cease and desist. So that's an artist's, um, especially especially for crochet, can really can really come to bite you in the butt if you are not careful. So I try not to. I try to avoid big uh, big named characters if I can. Um, you know, I I sometimes break that. Like you know, sometimes I make Avengers and stuff. But uh, I guess to answer your question, I probably won't be doing a Mickey Minnie, you know, classic Disney characters for fear of cease and desists and fear of like just getting in trouble because I have gotten them in the past. Um, and I know other artists have as well. So I can't like I can't sell any patterns or I can't like I can even get in trouble just like posting videos about how to crochet Mickey or whatever like that. Um, so if I do that, it, it's just, it's hard to, it's hard to make it worth my time when I know I'm putting a big risk out there and I could use that time to make something original that I really want to, that I'm honestly more proud of. So yeah. Thanks for understanding, Becky. Um, all right. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I think that is the end of our round. We want to chain one. This pattern's really, you know, I made this a long time ago. It's a very weird pattern because there's so many, it's just like a bunch of different pieces that I sewed together. I can't even, I don't even know how I figured this pattern out. <clears throat> I remember there's a lot of, uh, a lot of given, you know, a lot of uh, trial and error is what I'm looking for. All right, now I'm gonna make these sides of the arch. I think it starts with a magic loop, yeah. All right. Oh. <coughs> Again, sorry about the coughing. I do think I'm on my last day of this. Or last few days. Ricky Rouse or Marled <laughs> Muck. <laughs> That's funny. Um, oodles and caboodles of crafts, thank you so much. Um, let me add a pom pom for you. Oh, and let me fix that cat cam a little bit because it's a little, little high up. There we go, perfect. Oodles and caboodles of crafts. I've decided that any donations are gonna get a um, a pom pom. I've got just like this, a bunch of pom poms in a bunch of different green colors right now, little ones. And so donations that are less than 10, I'm gonna start collecting. Um, I've already got a little bit of a collection from last live stream here. So we're gonna add this one for you, oodles and caboodles. And then when I do finally have a tree to add to our background here, I will uh, be filling it with all the pom-poms of the donations. So that way, 
we actually have leaves and stuff going on. Okay, back to this. How is everybody else's week going? How, how have you guys been? What have you guys been up to this week? Watching, do you watch any new cool shows? That I, I could really use some TV show suggestions right now because honestly, every day I have just been obsessing and listening to D&D &D with uh, um, really any kind of D&D &D with Brendan Lee Mulligan. He, I'm a huge fan of his work. Uh, if you don't know who he is, he's a uh, he's part of like the college humor team um, or the dropout team I should say and he's a dungeon master and he's just a very creative and intelligent man and uh, I really like the way he he does stuff so I've been watching a bunch of uh, they're called dimension 20s they're they're dungeons and dragons like a very very unique dungeons and dragons game on the dropout show or dropout channel and then I've been uh, recently listening to him and Abria Iyengard. She's another Dungeons and Dragons person, and Erica Ishii, uh, who is also a D&D person, and then uh, my favorite D&D person, Lou Wilson. Be not just because his name is Lou, but because I think he's a very uh, good improviser and actor, and I just think he's a really cool dude. Uh, they have a new show called Worlds Beyond Number. It's like a, it's like a special D and D themed world, and I have been obsessed over it this week. So I've been listening to that a lot. Um, but I could really use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could really use some uh, advice. Like if you have any any shows that you think I should check out, uh, please. I am I'm taken. I am taking suggestions because I have been way listening to way too much DD. <clears throat> Ooh, Psych. I do love Psych. I love Psych. I actually just rewatched Psych last year, so it's been a year. It might be in enough time to rewatch it again. But I love Psych. I love it. You know, I've never watched any of the Puss in Boots movies, Becky, but uh I have actually been thinking about them recently. I mean, probably because there's just been so much like posts about it because there was like a new movie or something, but maybe I should check them out. That's a good, good suggestion. Cause I don't think those are something that Jules would really want to watch. But you know, maybe she would, I'll, I'll ask her. I'm, I'm just gonna hide this end, this tail end in while I go, just to like save us some time and effort. The Mentalist, oh my gosh, you just gave me a, a brain blast from from college. I was I used to watch that show like every single day for for like two months. I've just. I just binged through the entirety of it while I did my homework in college. Oh, wow. I really haven't thought about that show in a long time. The Last of Us, heck yes. I actually stopped watching uh, a few episodes back. I think I'm on episode five or six right now um, because I'm, I can't watch it without Jules. And ever since she went up to... Uh, San Francisco to be in that show I you know I haven't really had it I I don't want to watch it by myself it scares me I've never felt I've never been so emotion emotionally invested in a show as The Last of Us um, I really like the games a lot so I know what happens and everything so there's no you can't really spoil too much for me but still don't put spoilers for other people in the chat please but uh, yeah I'm very excited to finish it um, I've heard I've heard good things. Uh, I haven't heard too much because I've been kind of like keep my ears plugged. But my gosh, Gravity Falls is a great suggestion, Willow. I've I, I've always wanted to finish watching that. I've only watched like parts of it, <clears throat> so that would be that's a great suggestion. I will get back on the Gravity Falls hook. Um, 
because I know I I know I really liked some of it. So, and that's definitely up my alley. That's actually right up my alley. Uh, I'm gonna be making the lock now. I'm kind of just like powering through here. Supernatural. I think I've watched a pretty good amount of Supernatural actually. I think I've watched like. Um, finish Gravity Falls. Okay, we'll do. I think that that honestly will be the the one I'll watch tonight after the stream because that's that's actually perfect for me. Oh, I just found a a typo in the pattern on the lock half. I'm going to have to make a note of that. If you ever find typos, by the way, on the website, um, let me know. You know, I'm always I'm always looking to kind of fix typos. So, yeah, if you find typos, email them to uh, uh, um, email them to I think it's devs at clubcrochet.com or or it's you could just email me me directly too. It's I'm just Louie at clubcrochet.com. Uh, but yeah, hit me up there if you ever find any, any typos or, or any bugs or anything on the website. Uh, we're always looking to fix and make sure everything looks good. Okay, so now we're going to be connecting the top of, we have all of the top of our, of our treasure chest made. I'm going to be basically making our full, the full top first. And then we'll add all the face facial features after that. Cooper's been watching a lot of Judge Judy. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. That's really funny. Okay. Make a slit in the left and pull through the front loop of one of the sides. That's V1. And the left corner. Hold on. Okay, so pull through one of the sides of this in the front loop only. Yeah, like right like that. Like that. Boom. Okay. What else do I do? Pass Lou, tell me more. In the left corner of the arch. So like this. We'll go. Actually, let's do it like this way. Pull through this little corner right there. And I guess I'll hide these tail ends in after I connect everything. Slip stitch across each row of the arch and each front. Okay. That seems pretty self explanatory. Let's see if that works, past Lou. I love referring to myself in the third person when I'm talking about my past patterns because I always look at them skeptically like okay yeah sure this is gonna work and then I'm like oh it does it works <laughs> okay sorry uh, I probably won't be able to read the chat for a second as I connect this top because it does take a little bit more focus so I don't goof it up I mean that oh yeah look at that so it's connecting that cool like that oh I, it's starting to come back to me now I'm starting to remember how this pattern works right here oops I think I remember in the past oh Um, when you reach the end, turn left and then slip stitch 
across this way in the front hips only. Okay, before I do that, I think I'm gonna connect right here too because this looks like it's a little bit further away, so it probably wouldn't hurt to connect. Let's connect this little corner. Well, actually, it wants only the front lips only, so we'll do that. Actually, let's go right here. And then we'll connect to this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Looks pretty good. And then we'll just work front loops. Hey, that looks, look at that. That's a nice, that looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, Cooper, thank you for asking. What is everybody making today? Jennifer's making a hat. Ooh, what kind of hat are you making, Jennifer? You know, I used to be obsessed with making hats. I really need to get back into that. My parents tell me that like all the time. They're like, why aren't you making more hats? Lene is making a taco. That's that's cool. Jimbo's still asleep? Oh my gosh, he sure is. Wow. <clears throat> um, Cooper became a moderator on stream by uh, simply asking at the right timing. That's that's the truth of the matter asked at the right time when I really needed a moderator um, we have Cooper to help now so we probably don't need a moderator right now but um, we actually had someone ask this week uh, so yeah feel free to ask I, I don't know if I'll need a moderator for the YouTube channel but I do need help on the website so if you want to help out um, uh, just reach out I'm my email is just louis at clubcrochet.com. So I'm just going to leave these tail ends long and I'll just hide them into the end afterwards so that we don't have to deal with it while we're going. And we're going to start working our way up the side now. Yes. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's it. Okay, that's fine. Because we want to do that corner thing too. Or, or does this look weird? Oh wait, hold on. This doesn't look. I want it to be the same as that side. This kind of looks a little funky. Oh, it's just because that knot is there though. Oh yeah, that. Yeah, that should be even. When I hide these ends in, it shouldn't be a problem. <coughs> Ooh. The amazed feed is making either a raccoon or a treasure chest. I mean, obviously, I suggest making a treasure chest while you're at it. Oh. Oh, my neck like really wants to crack because I didn't finish telling you this earlier, but um, the cats have been obviously obsessing, obsessed with me because they don't have anybody else right now. And they, I woke up to this morning with both of the cats cuddling me on both sides of my body. I was like, I was laying on my back and in each arm I had a cat. It was the best thing in the world. But my neck, <laughs> I was like, oh God. <laughs> so my neck is like so stiff today. But you know, small price to pay for waking up to two cats cuddling you. Like, what are you, what are you gonna do? Whoa, Becky's crocheting <laughs> Christmas something for Christmas? That's a that's way early, Becky. <coughs> Get a rice bag. What is that? What's that for? For for your like to heat up? You mean? I have one of them actually. I could heat that up, but it doesn't really sit on my neck very well. I don't know if that's what you meant, by the way. Okay. 
And then I'm just going to go in this corner. Like that. And we'll connect. I'm just going to connect this inside loop. Just for safekeeping. And then I'll turn and work out loops only. Boom, across, and is that correct? Slip stitch across the single crochets of the arch. Yeah, okay, so we wanna crochet across this way. You know what? We're actually doing really good on time. I'm actually, I'm pretty surprised, which is great because we're gonna need that extra time for customizing our treasure chest to look like a mimic later. And for like hiding all these ends. show I should check that out hey uh, here's the plea again if you like this video like it down below we're trying to get 250 likes for another giveaway because we actually have a giveaway going on right now if you want to enter today's giveaway check out the link in the description uh, and yeah you could win a crochet kit for a dragon is what I'm, I decided to give away today because I have a few extra yeah, we're gonna make a mimic today. Getting ready for that D&D &D movie. I'm so excited for that, by the way. Anybody else excited to go see that D&D &D movie? <coughs> that one I definitely should wait for Jules. Okay, let's, I'm gonna hide this end around the outside of this one. And then on the inside. And look at that. There's the top of our treasure chest made. That looks pretty good. I, if I do say so myself, this is gonna be the back. This will be the front. We'll add eyes on it right there. We'll do something fun for the nose maybe. And then I think it'd be really fun to use toothpicks for the teeth, because I've never done that before. But yeah, we're going to, uh, we're gonna figure it out as we go. But before I get to that part, let's, Go ahead and hide these ends into the back of a few of these stitches, which hopefully will never be seen again. And won't mess up our whole thing. Yeah, that's pretty good. Got those ones. Okay, there's one end sewn in. I want to hide all these ends though. What's my favorite type of character to play in D and D? Ooh, I. You know what? I want you to guess. Actually, let let's make that a poll because I, I I'm very curious of what other people think. What is Lou's Question has been asked in the chat right now because just because I'm really curious of what other people think uh, I put four options there if you don't know what D&D &D is just guess um, I put what is what is my favorite type of character to play in Dungeons and Dragons in the chat I'm super curious to see what y'all think um, the options are between a warlock which is basically like a kind of like a wizard but gets their powers from god uh, a, a rogue which is basically like a thief or a um like an assassin 
a a bard, which is basically like a musician kind of with magic, um, or or like a comedian sometimes with magic. They're they're like a I don't know, or a barbarian. A barbarian is basically like a warrior kind of. They they are big brutes that take a lot of damage and do a lot of damage. Um, but I'm really curious of what you guys think. What do you think is my favorite kind of character to play in D&D? And what's your favorite character to play in D&D? Angel doesn't play d and I totally get that. Uh, a lot of people don't. Um, I highly suggest to check it out uh, because you get so much from it. Not only is it like a great way to like just hang out with people and friends and stuff, but it's also a great way to like it's almost like a form of therapy it's a great way to like live in a in a different person's like mind i don't know i think D is a wonderful beautiful thing i th- i just think i think role-playing games i should say are wonderful beautiful things i've been trying to work on a role-playing version of stitched actually <clears throat> called stitch story mode I don't know if it's gonna work very well or not but uh, I have all the rules written out I just really need to test it with some friends I just haven't had the guts to do it because it's scary I've never been a dungeon master before so I'm, I'm very nervous about messing that up I'm sure I do fine I'm just like you know you know it's scary it's scary All right, those ends are sewn in. Pretty good. You know, you know what would also be nice with this? I wish I had it ahead of time. I've always wanted to mess with it. Is like, you can like make a, like a spray that you can spray onto your crochet to make it harden. <coughs> but um, that'd be really useful for this, I think. Because having it get hardened so that it was like an actual treasure chest, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, Sarah! Welcome to the chat! Oh my god, it's been so long! How are you, Sarah? Your favorite, maybe a druid or a ranger. Oh, a ranger was actually the first character I ever played in D&D. Um, when I started playing Dungeons and Dragons in high school, like it was like the very end of high school, so it was like college, start of college. I used to play in LA, and my first dungeon master was a person named Satine Phoenix, uh, which some people might know. She's she was a pretty she's a pretty famous dungeon master now. She was my first DM. She was so so good at at being a DM. And, uh, yeah, she was my DM for, like, like, two years or so before I moved to San Francisco for school. And, uh, I missed that crew so much. It was so much fun to play with them. I hope, I hope I get to play with them again sometime soon. And I hope Satine's doing well. I haven't, I haven't talked to her in a long time. She's a very good Dutch master, though. I don't know why this end is being so... Oh, I see. It's from the very center. Okay. Would hairspray work? Hairspray might work, actually. I don't have any hairspray either, but that totally might work. Uh, Dimension 20, you're talking about that, Satine? I don't know if she was ever... I don't think she was ever a DM in Dimension 20, but she's a very famous DM. Uh, if you Google her, you'll find her. Uh, Satine Phoenix is her name. She was, she was a very, very famous dungeon master. Is a very famous dungeon master. All right, there's the top of our treasure chest. Very sweet woman. She's She's great. I hope she's doing. I hope she's doing well. 
Um, all right, I'm not gonna sew the lock on it because I'm not sure if we wanna add this or not yet. You know, because it might be a cute nose for our character, but it might be kind of fun not to do that. <clears throat> spring break. Texas is on spring break. How cool. That's that's one of the few things that I really miss from school is breaks, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Liquid starch. That That's what I'm talking about, Ivy. All right, almost done with this coffee, which is much needed. Akari asks, how would I feel, how would I feel if Akari becomes an assassin one day? You know what? You do you. Just promise that you're only gonna assassinate people that really deserve it. And I mean, listen, I'm not, I'm not condoning assassinations. I'm just saying there's some people, you know, they may deserve it. All right. <laughs> not really. That was a joke. Probably. Okay, let's see what you guys think I is my favorite character to play. Oh, interesting. Everybody thinks that my favorite character to play is a bard. That is a good answer, and I would have guessed that too. That is not the right answer though. I've actually never played a bard. I probably would love playing a bard, but I've never played one before. My favorite character to play is a rogue. I love playing rogues. I love them. I don't know why. They're just, I love being a little shifty dude. They're so much fun. <laughs> I love running around and stabbing people in the back. And uh, I like sneaking around and stealing from people. It's just, it's just fun. My favorite character that I've ever played with, um, some of you guys might know them, Shank the Goblin. Actually, I'll show you Shank. I have him right here. I know. I feel cool. Actually, I can't find Shank. I can't find him. He's, he's in a box over there somewhere. But he's my goblin. And, uh, yeah, I, I really like, I like playing, I like playing, uh, rogues, specifically tiny rogues, like goblins or gnomes and stuff. Personal fave. Okay, let's keep going on now. We are going to be working on the bottom of our treasure chest now. So we can put our gold yarn to the side for a sec. And get our brown yarn. <laughs> yeah, shake is hiding as any as any good rogue would. Okay, sides of our chest. Sides are gonna be C. Does he, does Jivo look really cute? I can't, I haven't. Oh my gosh, just a quick little cat cam switch. Ignore the mess. I have him like off to the side, but. Look at, look at that sweet boy. Such a sweet boy. So sleepy. I love it when he's sleepy. Okay. I think we should also add something on the inside of our, like inside of the treasure chest with the gold buttons that like a ruby or something. Anybody got any good ideas there? That could be kind of fun. Something a little enticing for the for the rogue to come and accidentally trigger. Be like, oh, look at that. 
Look at that ruby. I don't know. Any ideas? This is the sides of it. Okay. <coughs> a scroll! Oh my god, I already have a bunch of them already made, too. That's a perfect idea. That is a perfect idea, Willow. Sorry about coughing in the microphone. I did not mean to. I hope it was not too loud and annoying. Keep this in there. It's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Oh, an emerald since it's St. Patrick's Day. That's a fun idea. A pirate ship. You know what? I have made a little tiny pirate ship before. Um, and I've been meaning to get back into uh, the pirate life. So that could be something we could add later. One, two, three. We want one more. I think I need to make two of these. Yeah, I do. Oh, what a great way. Sarah, that is such a good idea for homeschooled kids to play D&D. &D. Not only is that a great option for like storytelling, reading, math, but also socializing with other people and learning just like general, you know, um, like life rules, like, like, uh, what's the word? Like, um, Like norms, like social norms and stuff. It's a really, that's a great idea. It's so funny that like in the 60s, well, I guess like in the 70s and 80s, like people were, people thought the D&D &D was like demonic and stuff. When really it's like actually a super healthy, good way to, to, to experience your imagination and the imagination of others at the same time. And it's like, they were so far from the truth. But anything new, anything new is demonic, I swear. All right, what's wrong with being a demon? I'm a demon. Oh my gosh, let me tell you the funniest story. One time, I was at a show, Jules is. She, uh, my fiance is a musician, and she used to do a lot more shows. She hasn't done one in a while, but she's gonna do one in May, actually. And I, uh, the person that was up before her was this, like, really crunchy San Francisco, like, like, she, she was talented. It was a musician and she was just, like, everybody's love. And she said something about how, like, I think she said, like, you're all angels. You're all uh, goddesses out there. And I was like in, I, without even thinking about it, I was in like near the back of the room and, and was looking down and I just went, I'm a demon. And it was like the perfect timing where everybody was quiet and the only words that anybody heard in the room was some dude in the back. No one knew who it was, but someone saying, I'm a demon. And everybody was like quiet. And I, I just started laughing so hard. I was like, oh my God, I'm sorry. I don't know, it was really funny. And so now me and Jules do that all the time. We'll just be like in, at a show and be like, I'm a demon. A snail trophy. <laughs> oh, Onyx. Onyx thinks we should add some nice smoochy lips to our, to our mimic. That's a fun idea. One, two, three, four. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Lots of cough. I'm a coffee boy. All right. A big, a big tooth. A 
I'll tell you what, it has been nice not having Jules around when I have like a really bad cough. But I just hate annoying her with a cough, especially at night. I don't want to wake her up. So, you know, silver linings. Willow, you got the same hook. This is actually, I, you know, a friend of mine was just making a really special um, crochet hook for me. I was going to drop it off today. But actually, that text message that I got earlier was them saying they couldn't drop it off today. So I'll get another time. But it's pretty cool. Ooh, a single eye. <gasps> Ooh, Willow. I actually like that idea a lot. I have some like really cool like like cat eyes that might be kind of fun to do just like one big cat eye right in the center like right here oh that could be fun I don't know we'll we'll, we'll talk about it when we start adding the face we'll we'll talk about ways to customize <clears throat> Okay, so I gotta watch Gravity Falls tonight. That's the that's the suggestion of the night. I'll like crochet some secret stuff that I'm not gonna tell you about, probably. Until later. I'm working on I've been crocheting a lot of a lot of secret stuff you guys don't know about. In in anticipation for a big new release. If you were a previously a Club Crochet Pro member, you might know what I'm talking about, but otherwise, one, two, three, four, five. Otherwise, I'm keeping it a secret, baby. Oh, it was Onyx's idea. Okay, cool. Thank you for being honest, Willow. Appreciate the honesty. Let's go ahead and cut this out. Did I really hide that ended? Oh wow, good for me. We're gonna do the same with this one. I didn't even think about it. I just like hit this end in without even. Just did it. Just did it. Just done did it. Yeah, Akari, uh, this might not be the right place for it, but <laughs> all right, that's pretty good. There's the sides of our treasure chests. You see? I'm gonna go boop, boop. Now we just need to make the front and the back. Uh, so many boogers. I'm booger boy. <clears throat> how's our little, how's our baby boy doing? Oh, look at him. Look at this. Look at that. Go pet him. Buddy. Hi. Hi, Kimmel. So cute. Okay. Back to this. So we're making the front and back now. Look at the, see that little, these red dots here? Guess what that's from? See, I probably got a bunch of them on me. Here's one right there. Can you guess? I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. He's right there. He's right there and his little teeth are right there.
soon. Do our kits also ship to Europe? You know it. You know it. Yes, we do. We ship all over the place. Um, and actually, in a few months, uh, we'll probably be shipping even cheaper to Europe. So, But I do ship to Europe, yes. <laughs> Onyx, you're sending you're sending cash in the form of, of tissues or tissues in the form of cash. I'll take them gladly. Willow says they're thinking about starting a business. Do I have any advice? Okay, let's see. Oh boy, do I have any advice? Yeah. Um. Well, I guess the start is like, what kind of business are you starting? And uh, my best advice there is make sure whatever the type of business that you're starting is, you're not doing it for the money because it's going to take a while for that business to be profitable. And even when it is profitable, it's going to take even longer for it to be like, you're just, you're going to be doing the same thing for a while. You're going to be doing things that you don't technically really want to do. It wasn't that you didn't plan on when you started a business so my advice is make sure that whatever you're doing you love it like for me it's crochet obviously i love crocheting so i don't mind all those other parts of the business that i really normally don't like that much because i like crocheting so much that it it doesn't really matter you know i'm, I'm cool with all the i don't know there's just there's a lot of parts of business that that you don't think about I, I promise even if you think you're thinking about it there's gonna be things that come up that you're like oh my gosh I didn't think about this I didn't think about that taxes alone oh my god there's so much to learn about for taxes and there's a lot of parts about business that just aren't fun so if you don't like what you're doing then it's gonna be hard to do it so that's my first advice um, my second advice is come up with a legit business plan like <clears throat> look them up you can make business plans on or you can find like example business plans online I didn't think I really needed it but then eventually I was like man I really wish I had a business plan because it really covers like all the the things that you weren't really thinking about so there's my suggestions I hope that helps Hold on, I need a cough. I need a big one. <coughs> um, I'll do this on keyboard. Just push this out. Gross, right? Gross. Sniffly gross boy. Hey, thanks for coming and hanging out with me even though I'm a sniffly gross boy today. I appreciate you. Aw, Angela, that's... Or Angel, that's super cute. Angel says their cat is sleeping on their arm while they're editing. You know, it is a seriously a... A treasure I, I you can't you can't explain it enough how nice of a treasure it is when a cat is sleeping on you and you still can do your work your job because nine times out of ten a cat will fall asleep on you in a position where you can't do anything you just need to like sit there and accept that this is your life now so it's very very lucky when a cat falls asleep on you and you can actually keep doing your job or or whatever you were doing before. What are you editing, Angel? Are you editing a video? Pictures? What are you making? Uh. <clears throat> Nutrang Fo asked, are there any more additions to the stitch? What do you mean by that? I don't know. I, I don't think I understand what you mean by are there any additions to the stitch? 
business tip. Ah, uh, yes, that's a good business tip. Be good and accurate with your accounting so that you'll be less stressed uh, during tax season. Yeah, tax season is uh, the worst. You know what's so annoying? Why does the business, why does the government make me figure out how much taxes I owe if they already know how many taxes I probably owe? It's like, dude, why, why are you making me do that? <laughs> Just tell me how much I owe you. Front or back done. We gotta make one more of these. And then we can, uh, and then we need to make the bottom of it. I forgot about that almost. I'll, I'll hide those ends in it just a sec. Oh, you mean stitched. Are there any new additions to stitched? Yes, oh, oh yes. I've been working on something new for stitched. Um, a new pattern that's coming out this weekend actually. <clears throat> And I have a play test for it. So the new pattern that's coming out this weekend is for, where are they? This weekend, uh, a new dragon, mini dragon patterns is gonna be out. This is our little mini dragon, one of them. There's a few in the background too, from people donating. Like this golden dragon right here. Um, and I, I'm adding them to the game uh, and I'm calling them I think I'm gonna call them zippers because they zip around the map. And the idea is gonna be that they can bounce off of heads of adjacent characters. So if you have like, go with like this. Pretend these are like goblins or something. Let's say you had two goblins here and they're either yours or your enemies. You can use a movement to bounce and if you're within distance of another character, you can bounce off their head and then bounce off someone else's head and then bounce off their head. So they kind of work like checkers. So you can move across the board really fast. It's pretty fun. It's a fun idea. I'm very excited about it. Um, I actually just came up with it like last week. So those will be new to the game and I still need to add Cobalt. But if you want to learn more about that, just check out stitchthegame.com. Um, I'll be adding those rules to my Louis Loops Patreon page. Has anybody done March Madness yet? I don't really understand how March Madness works. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. How would I differentiate them from the things that open and close jackets then? <laughs> You're funny. <clears throat> All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Yes, I know, I do need a crochet pattern for a Jimbo. That is, these are facts. I just have some other patterns I need to do first, but I agree. Gotcha. Yeah, I've never done March Madness. It, it, that's basketball, right? I was talking to Jules the other day about like sports in general. She was asking about the rules to like some, I can't remember what sport it was, probably football or something. 
And she was, and then so I told her like all the rules to football. She was like, "How do you even know that? You don't even watch football." I said, "I don't know." Like honestly, I think it's just like being brainwashed as a, just being a boy. You just like learn the rules of football without even playing them. Comes with the, it comes with the gender. I don't know. It's just our our, our society teaches. You boy, you know football. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Super important information. <laughs> College basketball, got it. basketball for March Madness? I think that would be pretty easy. Wouldn't you just need to make a ball and then an orange and then do the lines? But yeah. I think it might already be a little too too little too late. But I will consider that for next year, Becky. Yeah, I'm sorry, Onyx. I, I wish I didn't. I wish I didn't have to cough, but sometimes I do. I'll try to mute it next time. I try to. I have to cough. So cute. Look at it. He's upside down. Look at this thing. I love him. Aww. What a little baby. What a cute little baby. Like, I'm not even coughing anything up right now. It's like just a dry cough. By the way, it's not COVID, which is nice. But, you know, a cold still do be a cold. I know exactly when I got this too. I was I was watching those kids last week. I was babysitting uh, my cousin's kids. And their youngest, Kara, uh, gave me a wet willy. I taught her what a wet willy was, and then later she gave me one, and I was like, oh, gross. And then at the end of the night, <clears throat> uh, their mom was like, was like, don't forget, you got to take your antibiotics. And I was like, oh, what do they got antibiotics for? And she's like, oh, they have a sinus infection right now. And I was like, oh. And then I was driving home, and I was like, oh, uh-oh. <laughs> and then... And then when the sickness started, I was like, I could, ju I just like remembered that wet willy and I was like, oh no, that's definitely <laughs> not good. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure that's how I got it. But you know, kids gonna, kids gonna do what kids gonna do. You can only prevent it so much. A dragon burb? Not a bad idea. I do not hate that idea. Why would I teach her that? Because I didn't think about the repercussions, Cooper. I didn't think about the repercussions. I just thought, you know what would be funny? Is if this girl knew what wet willies were. So that later, she could give wet willies to her parents. I didn't think... That it would come back to bite me. Mm. 
One, two, three, four. Now we just need the base. The b -b -b base. And then we can connect it. And we'll have our treasure chest almost done, other than the face, obviously. Oh, really? You're, you're making a speed paint commission. Yeah, I, I, I did see it before, but I didn't mention it. Did I play any instruments in school? When I was in elementary school, my parents put me into piano, but I only really did like two or three classes, and then I was like, I don't like this. Um, but then in high school, I got really into ukulele and accordion, um, more so in the ukulele route. So now I, I do still play ukulele, uh, and I've actually written like a handful of songs that are my own songs. I played one actually at the end of a live stream once um yeah so i play ukulele pretty often i really like uh i really like writing songs for it i don't i i you know i play like strumming a lot but i actually really like doing tabs and coming up with songs where it's like you know do -do -do -do, one of those kind of things uh and then i can still play a little bit of my accordion but i actually just figured out the other day um, that my accordion's broken, so I need to go fix that. My friend pulled it out. He was like, you have an accordion? And I was like, yeah. He's like, I play accordion. And he pulled it out and he opened it. And then he was like, oh, cool. And then he went, Rrr. and I was like, oh no, it's broken. <laughs> I didn't even know. So I need to go, I need to go fix it. Oh my God, the cat. Yes, thank you for pointing that out, Onyx. Oh, so cute. Yeah, accordion is really tough to learn, for sure. I think I learned like one or two songs on it originally, and um, I showed it to my grandma. I was like, check this out, grandma. And I played her, I think I played her the Godfather song, the song from Godfather. My grandma was like very Italian. And uh, she just loved, oh no, no, you know what it was? It was the, um, it was Frank Sinatra. My grandma was obsessed with Frank Sinatra. And so I learned a Frank Sinatra song for her and played it for her. And she was, she just thought it was very cool. Oh, good memories. I miss my grandma. <clears throat> oh, dude, Nina. Oh my God, Nina, thank you so much for joining. And thank you so much for for supporting the project for awesome. Oh, Nina, that's so cool. Thank you for saying hi and, and letting me know. Also, that means a lot. I hope you enjoy the crochet kit. If you get stuck at any point, uh, let me know um, or check out our like Discord. That's a great place to go for help if you need help. Um, I don't know if you already know how to crochet or not, but I am always here to help out on these live streams also. So just let me know if you get stuck at any point. I'm, I'm more than happy to help. Wow, you got that kit really fast, by the way. Oh, thank you, Cooper. <clears throat> Istabrak, hello. 
How are you doing today? Love the flowers, thank you. And Jimbo's just basking in the glory. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This is gonna be my last round. Two, three, four, five, yeah. One more round here. We'll hide all these ends and then we'll connect everything together. I'm zooming. That's right, Becky, I'm a zooming. Flying. Well, when, you know, when you're crocheting flat, I don't know, for some reason, whenever I'm crocheting something flat, I can just fly through it. I don't need to really think too much about what I'm doing. I've been play playing a lot of the... Oh no! He stirs! The boy is waking. Oh, Jimbo. Jimbo's waking up. The beast, the beast awakens from his great slumber. Unfortunately, it usually means we have a few more seconds and then he's out of his little bed. There he goes. All right, buddy. Yeah, that means he wants to hang out. Hopefully he isn't too bad, though. Sometimes when he wakes up from his naps, he is very, very attention-y. It's like, I want all the attention. Well, let's hope he's not like that. And we can switch the cam too, since there's no more cat in our cam. <clears throat> Let's just take a quick look. Yeah, no more Jimbo. Wah, wah. Okay. He might be back eventually, though. Okay, next up we need to make the, we need to connect everything. Okay, cool. Also, agua. Totemo mizu desu? There's a lot of water. Is that correct? I don't know. I don't know Japanese that as well as I sh should at this point. Okay, make a slip knot. Pull through the corner of the front. And then slip stitch across the front loops only. So we want it like this. Wait, is this too long? Yeah, it should be right. One, two, three. Looks like a crochet. Well, yeah, it'll probably be fine. Famous last words. <clears throat> okay, so we want to start like this. Front loop only of that. Front loop. Here. Like this. Go through like that. And then like so. And we just connect these two. Our way down. Right, like that. That should do it. <laughs> Jimbo's 
Jimbo, they want you to scream. Don't do it, though. Don't listen to them. You be your own cat. And also, trust me, you do not want to start the call of the Jimbo. Then it'll be all the rest of the stream. We'll just hear a Jimbo screaming at us. And we'll have to kick him out. And it's going to be a whole thing. I hate it. It's the worst thing ever when he just starts yelling at us. Let's switch this to manual for a little bit. Because it keeps like zooming in and out, it looks like. been an hour and a half since the stream started that's not bad you know i was expecting to go till about six so yeah that's pretty it's pretty normal thanks for sticking around by the way again if you haven't yet like this video it's a great way to support the channel okay when we reach the end okay so we want this like this across the front. Oh, duh, I should use the, oh yeah, we're going across this way, this way, and then we sew together these bottom parts. Okay. The diagram I made is very helpful. Are you guys? Are you guys cooing? <laughs> you guys are doing a Church of Perch call? <laughs> church of Perch! I love it. <laughs> we gotta start doing more giveaway, more Church of Perch giveaways too. Check it out. I got the sticker. See it? I'll show you on this camera. Church of Perch. I need more, I need new stickers. It's starting to peel off. I need to have a new one there. I've had it for literally years. Sarah, how you doing, Sarah? Thanks for joining. Hello. Oh, Oodles, you rock. Thanks for joining for so long. So we go across this way and then I work down it and connect the other side. And then we sew it together. Oh, 
Okay, so we got the sides attached. <clears throat> it's a little funky, but you know what? It's actually not that bad. Let me see how this is going to go on top of it. Now we need to cut and then sew these parts together. And then do the same on the back. Well, I'm glad you could join, Sarah. I hope school hasn't been that bad. Now move to the, yeah. <coughs> first thing I want to do is go around the back of the first stitch to hide the end. Got a little funky. Let's see if I can fix that. There we go. Keep that on the inside. And we just need to stitch these two together. And it looks like the way I want to stitch it is like. stitch this is called but we're gonna go one let's fold them together like that Ooh, psychology. I really wanted to major in psychology, actually. Back in the day, my brother's majoring in psychology. What did I do with my big dragon? He is chilling on the balls of yarn over there. I'll come, I'll, I'll have him say hi him near the end of the stream if you want. Show him off. He looks so cool, though. Thank you for everybody that joined that stream, by the way. That was a super duper fun live stream series of streams at least i want to do more series like that by the way i hope you enjoyed doing like a long form one it's fun to do short like single live streams like this but it's also pretty fun to do like ones that last a long time it's just a big payoff you know at the end <clears throat> which is kind of fun there we go so i i doubled it up on the sewing so that way it made it back and forth and we can make it a little bit more crisp there that's the bottom. Let's 
one half of our thing sewn together. We just need to add the back to it. <clears throat> it's a little short. It's a little short right now, but probably won't be that bad once we, once we get this on. Once we get the back on. The lips should go over just like barely. Which would be nice because the teeth will show when it's closed. That would be cool. Okay. I'm going to double knot these together real quick and then hide these ends on the inside and then we'll sew together our, we'll add the back of our, the chest on here, get going from there. Oh, it's all good, Becky. Thank you so much for making this live stream. And I appreciate, I appreciate seeing your, well, I guess I wish I could see your face face, but I appreciate seeing having you as part of the, the chat it's fun to talk to you it's been a sec uh, uh, uh. we need pliers do we need pliers though no not technically but i have them right here so i might as well God. Unnecessary crochet power. Sometimes it's fun to be a little extra. Thistle is winning for the name of our dragon right now. By the way, yeah, you can vote on the name of the dragon if you want. And uh, I don't know if you knew this, but we have a giveaway for a dragon crochet kit in the chat. Or in the description of this video if you want to enter to win a crocheted dragon you totally can look at that i didn't need no stinking pliers um yeah just enter the chat uh there's a little form that you can enter and then we'll announce the winner at the end of this live stream looks pretty good Okay, let's add the back here. For the back, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go this way, and then sew together that side. Right? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, excellent, yes. Okay. you win the giveaway too i hope everyone wins the giveaway i won't everyone won't win the giveaway but you know it's fun to hope What should I do for dinner? I was gonna order dinner tonight to give myself a break because I made dinner last night and the night before and the night before. So I thought, you know what? Let's order dinner tonight. I might even go pick something up. Any suggestions? I was kind of thinking Indian food, but also there's some pretty good pho. I was thinking pho might be fun. A little bit of fun pho. There's Thai food. I could do Thai food or Mediterranean food. Oh, Mediterranean food. I don't want pizza. That's just going to make me feel like crap. You know? Let's see, where's that stitch? Okay, we're 
working our way. Working my way. What's editions? Mediterranean. Oh, bow. Oh, bow buns. Oh, the best. Korean. I wonder if I could find some good Korean food. I haven't had Korean since I moved down. Mm, oh, fancy ramen. Ah, oh, a lot of good suggestions here. Especially fancy ramen sounds pretty good because it, I'm so like. Ramen is like the perfect thing to eat when you're sick gives you that nice warm oh that sounds pretty good ramen and and what was the show called that I'm, I need to watch guys not over the garden wall but it's in a similar vein um, gravity falls I love over the garden wall though if you have never watched over the garden wall go watch that or save it for near Halloween but either way very very good show highly suggested alright now we're going to work our way look at my way to the other side oh my gosh the other day I don't know actually I don't know if you can see it no you probably can but actually, right on. <laughs> Let me just show you, actually, because it's kind of cool. The other day, my friend came over, right here, and right here, I just took it off the wall. But literally, right off this camera, right there, is our is our hundred thousand subscribers. Uh, and he was like, "What do you have that for?" And I was like, "You don't know, like my business. <laughs> what do you think?" I thought it was so funny. And I was like, you know what? I just realized people don't even can't even see that. I wish they could see it because it's so cool. So maybe I need to switch it to be like here or something, like right here, like maybe right here. It's on camera. That could be kind of cool. They actually sent me two of them. I don't even know where the other one is. They sent me two of them by accident. <clears throat> like oh cool oh Naruto, Naruto would be cool I've actually never seen Naruto either but isn't there like a buttload of episodes of Naruto I was trying to watch Bleach the other day with Jules. We, we were watching like a few episodes of it because she used to watch it when she was a kid with her brother. And so we were, she was like, let me show you this show. I was like, okay, cool. And we started watching it and we watched like two seasons of it and we were like, wow, how much more of the show is there? And then we looked and we were like, oh, there's like 20 seasons of this show. We can't do this. <laughs> like I was like, we're never going to finish this show, Jules. She was like, yeah, maybe we should. She didn't realize there was so much of it. I kind of feel like Naruto is the same way, where it's like, it's just one of those shows that there's you'll never finish because there's just so many of them. But is that the case? Anybody, anybody know? treasure chest look at that it's working that totally worked so now we just need to sew together this bottom and we'll have our treasure chests bottom done and then there's the top to go on top of it well obviously we need to sew this on but as far like we're kind of almost there 
And then we'll just add our face. 700 episodes, but at least half is filler. <laughs> <coughs> the last five seasons are all filler. Okay, good to know. kind of long because we need to sew it on we're gonna pull this end on the inside like this and then this end we're going to do a hidden end and sew the bottom on with like this come on Start by going right into the corner like that. Actually, you know, I wonder if we can go just to help sew things together a little bit cleaner. Like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Keep this pulled on the inside. How are you? Oh, we tried to watch Inuyasha too, and then Jules just started watching it without me. I didn't realize she was such like an anime fan until like this year or last year. I was like, oh wow, you used to watch a lot of anime. It's because her brother used to watch a lot of anime, Toonami and stuff. I didn't realize that. Because anime has always been something that like I enjoy, but I'm not really like I've never really like been super into anime. Um, so there's a lot a lot that I've missed. So there's a lot of I guess there's just like a lot of content out there that I have been like, oh. I could use a new show. Sometimes though, old anime is like, wow, what is happening? <laughs> but that's kind of like part of the fun. It's very campy, you know, in that way. What is the next club crochet challenge? Oh, that is a great question. You know what? I'll start getting that set up now. Um, but the next challenge will probably be the start of May is what I'm thinking the next challenge will be. Um, but good question. I'll, I'll start to keep that thought going. Uh, so expect April, maybe May being the next challenge. I know it's a little farther away than you want. Uh, and I'm sorry about that, but I do have something in mind and there's just been a lot I've had to work on recently so I just I, I just don't have the bandwidth to to run it all right now um, but it'll all make sense soon what I why I am waiting a little longer everything will make sense soon okay bottom of the chest is sewn together I'm just gonna double knot these two ends and then hide them and we'll uh, sew the top and the bottom together and then we'll add the face. And yeah, we're doing pretty good. Uh, I think we still got like 45 minutes left to go. Sarah, uh, have a good one. I hope you make a wonderful dinner. Send me, send me some of your leftovers if you can. <coughs> have I seen Studio Ghibli films? Oh, heck, yes, I have. Um, huge fan of Studio Ghibli in general. Um, I think my favorite Studio Ghibli movie is probably Spirited Away. Although, who doesn't love a good Totoro in here? I also like the one where they're like little tiny people in the walls. I can't remember what they're called. But I liked that. I like the idea of that a lot. But I, I can't remember what it was named, so it must not be one of my favorites. All right, let's cut this. And I'll keep that end just in case. There we go. Okay, let's stretch it and skew it and make sure it's all the 
beautiful. That is a good bottom of the church. Look at that. Not bad. Let's click the bottom out a little bit more. And here's the top. And let's go back to autofocus because it's getting out of focus. But that's pretty good, right? And we're just going to sew these two together. And then we'll have our chest so it'll open up and close. And then we can add our face. Not bad. Yeah, Spirited Away is incredible. Highly recommend it. That show I've been, uh, or that um, Worlds Beyond Number I've been listening to right now, they have like a, a season that's all about, it's very Studio ghibli -y. I like that a lot. How was the enchilada last week? It was great, oh my God. Ooh, shoot, that's still in the refrigerator. I gotta throw that away. I totally forgot about that. Half of it is at least still in the fridge. I'm really bad at leftovers. It's it's uh, it's something I'm not proud of. I'll I'll be honest. Being bad at leftovers. Okay, let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's connect. Which one is the front and which is the back? This doesn't really matter if you can't tell the difference. Alright. Up that. Around this one. Work our way across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And maybe one for a little good luck. One, two, three, four, nine, and one for good luck. Good, perfect. Oops. There we go. Oh yeah, I got the churro. I, I posted a picture of it actually. <clears throat> On, in my story about me getting the churro. It was so good. I think Jimbo might be in his spot again to check. Nope. Hi, buddy. Oh, boy. Hi. Hello. How are you? Yes. You want to say hi? Oh. Hi, buddy. Thank you. Wow, you're so sweet. Good boy. Hi. Say hi. Hello. Hi. Say hi. Good boy. You're biting now. My nose tastes like boogers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, no biting though. He's rubbing up on my legs, but sometimes when he does that, he wants to bite my legs. Yeah. Talkative boy. So talkative. <laughs> no turning off the live stream. Remember that one time he turned off the live stream? That was crazy. see you it's BS not fair go back in your spot so everybody can love you yeah you don't want to take a nap he just wants to play
connect to this other end so it's more connected? Yeah, I think we do. Just a little bit more connection is probably a good idea. All right, and then I'm just gonna work my way back around using the same stitches. Oh, Chimo, stop. Uh, Hey, that's so cute yeah almost done with at least with this part after this though we need to make the, uh, the face and stuff so that might take a little longer than we're expecting I gotta look for the the eyes that I want to use too and we should probably vote on like face parts and stuff I just think a Cyclops mimic would be really cool because we don't have one of those yet. All right, Oodles, thanks for joining. And thank you again for the tip. I really appreciate it, Oodles. Oodles, Oodles. Vicky McOodles Caboodle. McOodles Caboodles. Just about done though. Oh my god, he's so cute and fluffy. It's crazy. Little dude is crazy cute. Get this. this it's kind of keeping it open which is nice because we're gonna add the face and stuff and we're gonna want it open you know we want people to come in put their finger in and then open. sometimes what I do though is I put like a string here so you can close it but we're not gonna do that in this one <clears throat> okay um, I just want to double knot these two ends and hide them uh, and that'll be that'll be it for it us for connections at least okay the first thing I think we should vote on is do we add a nose and what kind of eyes do we put on so just hide this in a few stitches here real quick like that like this end I'll hide it down instead of this end anyhow so it doesn't really matter <laughs> all right okay <coughs> okay treasure chest is technically basically done uh here's our first question here do we want to add this or not so we can add our no, I, this is gonna be like the nose of the mimic. Do we wanna add a nose or not? I'm gonna put that into the chat right now and you let me know. Start with a poll. That's gonna be a quick vote. So go ahead and vote really quick. 
as you're voting for that, I'm going to grab the eyes and we're going to choose some eye options too. That's a good option for eyes. Whoa, I don't think we should use one of those, but good to know I even have them. Oopsies. What else do we have in here? There's some more gigantic eyes. I thought I had like cat eyes somewhere. Oh, here's some like colored eyes that are really mini ones. Let me look, I think I have cat eyes somewhere. Yeah. Ah, oh, here we go. We got, we got, we actually have noses, like cat noses and stuff. That's kind of funny. Gigantic eyes again. I have a lot of those gigantic eyes. Didn't even know that. Ooh, look at these ones. Those are kind of fun. More noses. I think I have some koala noses somewhere. There's our cat eyes. That's what we're really looking for. Okay. Here's how we're gonna do this. Let's go ahead and pick some of these out. So we got cat eyes. Oh. Ugh. Let's go. These are hilarious. These would be so funny to add to it. Let's just look, let's just, let's just look, you know, it's not gonna hurt to look at these gigantic ones to just see what, how crazy it would be to add them. Uh, oh my, actually, no joke though. That's actually kind of amazing, but like not, not a very good mimic. That'd be pretty obvious, I think. So, but I'll put it out there just as an option. Uh, it might be funny. It would be crazy. There's golden ones too. Actually, if we were gonna do one, it'd probably be golden, huh? Like this, like that. Oh my gosh, that's actually pretty dope that uh, we got mini round brown eyes so like this one they're not mini but those are good options and then of course we got our cat eyes uh, I think if we were gonna do cat eyes we'd probably choose gold ones so let's see if we can find gold ones in here we got green let's do the green those big crazy bobbly ones there they are okay so i think these are the, our options i don't know if we're gonna do two or one of each of them but um uh if we we're gonna do the giant ones i, I want to do the gold one not the pink one so let's throw the gold one in there the pink one in there <clears throat> all right so let's start with the vote Hi, Dad. My dad's in the chat. Hello, Dad. Okay, so first off, the vote. Let's end that. Looks like you guys chose yes for the nose. Cool. I don't know why it's not closing the poll. Refresh the 
direction is. Ah, that's why. Okay, so we went with yes for the nose, so we'll do that. Which eyes? Okay, we're gonna go in order. A is googly. B was was round brown dang it uh c uh green cat or d giant gold okay there's your options for the eyes, you go ahead and vote. We got A is googly, that's these guys right here. B is round brown, that's gonna be these guys right there. C is green cat eyes, that's gonna be these guys. Or D is a giant, giant googly. So let me hold, or giant round gold one. I think I just said giant gold one. Um, I'm gonna go with this one personally. That's my vote. And let me show you what each of them will look like on there before you go ahead and vote. This is what the giant one looks like. Green ones would look like that. Um, round brown will look like this. Kind of hard to see, but would be really cool as a Cyclops one. And then googly ones. Actually, googly ones would be really funny too. Even a googly. Cyclops would be funny. So we're gonna choose which eyes first and then based on the eye choices I'll choose if we want it to be a, a, a Cyclops or not And while you guys are voting on that, I'm gonna sew on the nose <coughs> Giant gold, uh oh giant gold is going ham right now <laughs> okay. Well, you guys, you guys vote. Let's see. We got. We want three stitches in the center here, so it looks like this will be the very center of the nose. So we'll start with that. Cat. I'm gonna go around it. Oh boy. Oh boy, which one is, oh boy, looks like we might be doing a giant gold one. That's going to be super crazy. Um, all right, so which, how do we do this here? Yeah, right there in the center. Yeah, that'll work. One here. This is going to be really interesting to do the giant gold one with this nose on there, because this is what it'll look like with the giant gold one and the nose. Might be kind of weird it kind of looks better without the nose if we wanted to do the giant gold but we chose nose so we do what we do what we got to lose the weird part with the eye is going to be first adding the back of this eye on because those the giant gold one is crazy difficult to add it's not impossible it's just tough and then the and then like, we might need to trim this back off, which is gonna be crazy difficult to do. I'll just have to use the pliers to like cut it off or something. And we might not have to, but we probably will. That. 
There's the gold lock for the nose sewn on. Let's go ahead and double knot them together and then we'll, we'll just hide these ends in. <coughs> Sorry, I got super cough coming close. Only 24 votes so far on the eyes. Get them votes in. get to 30 votes if we could for which eyes to choose okay nose has been sewn probably should add one down here but whatever we're not gonna do that all right we got the nose 25 votes on the eyes right now. Now let's look at this teeth too. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Cause I think what we'll do, what I was thinking is we'll just poke these through. This will be the last thing we do. But I was thinking we'll just poke through like this and then we'll cut them. And then we'll just have like a row of these like crazy sharp like teeth. Like let's just break that one in half so it'll get at least close. But like this, you know? And we'll just have like a row of these like actually dangerous teeth that will that's my thought but we'll vote on the teeth too i just thought it'd be kind of fun give him a puppy tongue that'd be kind of cute that's where the two oh boy that's a big <laughs> what's the big idea Let's drink some water while we're waiting for the votes to come in. <clears throat> Few more votes. Okay. Looks like we're not going to get to 30. That's okay. Ending the vote for eyes. What did we get? Wow. Half the votes were golden. Giant golden eye. I mean... Any more votes wouldn't even matter anyhow. No one wanted these round brownies. Get out of there. Uh, Googly was pretty close. Googly was in second with 26, but not enough. And then golden or green cat eyes were third with 19% of the vote. But looks like the winner is going to be this big golden one. So we're going to need to figure out how to attach this to the face. So this is the attachment thing. This goes on the back right here. It's gonna be hard to put on, but we can figure it out. I believe in us. The big thing is we wanna find the center. I think it's gonna be like right here. We'll go like right like that. Let's, let's use this to gauge. So if we do the center right there, it looks like a little off center maybe if we do that. But here is too close, so. Let's try that stitch right there. Like, like that. What do we think? <clears throat> yeah, that's yeah, that's that's pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't. I have a feeling this is not going to trick any adventurer. I have a feeling they're going to walk up to it and be like, uh. I'm pretty sure that's a mimic. <laughs> um, okay, wait, what else did I want to do? We wanted to do... Oh, a vote, a vote for the teeth. Okay. Start a poll. Teeth. Or... Okay, 
vote for the teeth. Do you want to do crocheted teeth or do we want to do toothpick teeth? Now, my vote is for toothpick because I've never had tooth, never done that before, but we'll see. Okay, we're gonna connect this on the inside. I guess we don't really need to cut this. This is gonna, I can never remove this once we add this, by the way, so. Oh, I hope you're cool with it. Cause it's not coming off ever. It's so heavy. He looks kind of, he actually looks kind of cute without teeth right now. Cause he's like, hi, I love you. Come here, give me money. Should we add the bottom too, the bottom lock? Probably, huh? Cause if he's gonna have the top one, eh, you know what, we'll keep it without the bottom one. We've added enough. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Teeth, we already got almost 24 votes on teeth. That's pretty good. <laughs> we'll try to get to 25 votes for the teeth before I call it. Uh, and then we'll need to add our gold buttons. We want to add a scroll on the inside and then maybe an emerald for St. Patrick's Day. I don't know how we're gonna do an emerald. We'll have to figure that out. I mean, we could crochet one, obviously. But I wonder if there's another way to do it. Do I have anything that's like translucent and green? All right, there's our 25 votes. And the poll there for the teeth. Toothpicks, oh my God, barely. Barely one with the toothpicks. Let's try them. All right, so I think what we'll do for the teeth is we're just gonna go up through the bottom here and out through just under where the yellow is. So like, or the gold rather. So like this. Like that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's gonna be scary, actually. It's gonna be great. Okay, so the first thing that what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut all of these toothpicks so that they're about go about like that long. So we're gonna try to cut all these. We're gonna try to not lose all the wooden ends. See if we can do a bunch of these in a row. Okay, a lot of teeth. Okay, so we're gonna take these, go straight from the bottom, up like that. One. I'll do them a little spread out. We want them to be a little bit weird and try to hide it as I go so that it'll be a nice reveal when we close it. gonna be super cool <laughs> I'm actually really excited about this the eye is a super unique choice too I'm glad you chose it I probably wouldn't have chosen that on my own accord but that's even more so why I'm thankful that you chose it okay hold on I don't want to show you on camera I just want to see what this looks like oh my god Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Wait, these need to be a little shorter though. Like that. Jeez. 
It looks so creepy. We might need to add more, actually. <clears throat> Bottoms. It's gonna be interesting because there'll be like turned in a bunch of different directions, which will make it even creepier. This guy's going to look super creepy. Um, oh, shoot. We need to add a tongue also. Probably. Which might be easier to do. Let's see what we got here. Oh, my gosh. You guys, this is so creepy. Okay, okay. Let me show you what we got so far. Ah! <laughs> That is super scary. Not gonna lie. Absolutely terrifying. He's like, hi. Do you want some treasure? Hot, someone says a blob of hot glue. You might need to roll a saving throw. Yeah, might need to. Super creepy looking. Oh my gosh, that's so scary. And we add gold in there too. And a tongue. Okay, we need to add a tongue. I know that. I know that much. Needs a tongue. Get three. I think we need an extra tooth on the top too. Actually, there's five on each. It's not bad. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. Okay. I feel uncomfortable with the energy we've created. <laughs> yes, Cooper. Okay, next is a tongue. Uh, let's go with this like hot pink for a tongue because I don't have a hot pink tongue yet. Actually. regular pink you guys for the tongue Maybe regular pink let's go regular pink okay the tongue should be pretty easy I think I have the pattern for it somewhere here teeth tongue yeah okay cool okay back away slowly creepy dude ooh you want a snake tongue Actually, but you know it's worth a shot. But that it'll be like that at the tip. I'm gonna try it. We'll try it. I'll make two. It'll only take me a second to make another one. And I'd rather have the perfect choices for us. Yeah, we totally should give them a name. Um, how would I do names? So do we think that's a good idea for the tongue? We can make that going over. Larry, 
Larry does fit actually pretty well. Someone thinks Ollie. I don't like that. I don't like Ollie because I have a. My parents have a dog named Ollie. Not. A, I don't really want to name it Ollie. I don't hate Larry though. Larry the mimic. Okay, so we got forked tongue. Don't know if I'm the biggest fan of the forked tongue, to be honest. So we'll have it like out like that. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just I think a regular tongue would look better. <clears throat> let's let's look at the regular tongue. And I might just make the executive choice for the tongue. We really should have sewn the tongue on first, but. Dave, Dave, Dave. <laughs> okay, okay. Chester, Ch oh, Chester's great. Chester's really good. Okay, wait. Hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna start compiling this. Name, our, mimic. I really, I really like the name Chester, personally. What other options? I need one more option. Can we do something with slobbery? Like slobber, sl slobby. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Which is just like Greg. Slobbery, sl slippy, slippy the mimic. It's not bad actually. What's a what about a bitey name like uh like Chomper or like Chewy or Chewy? Actually, Chewy. Chewy's not bad. Actually. Okay, I'm 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 throwing my name in the in the hat too. I personally, my personal vote is going for Chester because I think Chester is just Chester, Chester the chest. Are you kidding me? But I will leave that vote up to you guys. Your votes, uh, votes are up. Go ahead and choose which name you think we should choose. We should name our our mimic here. And I'm gonna choose. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose. I think this tongue over the t forked tongue, just because I think it'll look. So there's our forked tongue. Eh, it's okay. Let's change it with. Eh. Let's try this tongue. See, this is the one that I'm thinking. Let's get these stitches in there. Just so we can see it before I sew it on. Like, that just looks so mimicky to me. I like that tongue. I'm going to go with that one. It looks so good. So we're going to go ahead and just sew this one in. <coughs> tough with the teeth in there but we'll, we can make it work and if one of the teeth fall out that's okay we'll, we'll just put it right back
this me this song is really nice probably could try gluing in the teeth if we wanted to make sure they didn't fall off but just gonna be sitting on it like I'm not gonna be messing with this very much so I'm not like too worried about the teeth falling out I, I just hate whipping out the glue you know we could try just tacky glue though see how that works and then I don't have to like actually pull out hot glue hot glue and stuff together is just such a nuisance sometimes I didn't even know. Why don't you announce something about that, Jimbo? You gotta announce that stuff out loud. You gotta say, hey, I'm in the chair. Yeah. But he just left it. Okay. Get your teeth. Tongue. Oh wow, right buddy? Oh gosh, did you hear that little squeak? It was like the long, it was like a big yawn. He squeaked it. So cute. Okay. I keep poking myself with these. I guess he's doing his job. Okay, there we go. Uh, guys, that's amazing. This is great. Okay. Um, do we want to add... Oh, let's add the buttons and stuff. Let's add the gold. Um, <clears throat> I think the first thing I'm going to do, though, before I add gold, is I'm just going to add a little layer of yarn on the very bottom, a gold yarn on the bottom. So that way it fills it in a little bit, and I don't have to worry about adding too many gold buttons. And then we'll put in some gold buttons. Fill it with gold buttons. Looks really good. And I know, right? And we have this beautiful scroll to add to it. Let's see what this scroll says. The scroll says, <laughs> your upbeat nature will attract unexpected allies. Oh, that's a nice one. Okay, so there's that. Wait, hold on, buddy. We gotta look at all these scrolls. We gotta look at our best scroll option. Option two is strive to broaden your horizons each day. Eh, that's a little, little bland. This one's so. You are caring and compassionate. That's funny. That could be funny. I know. And what's this last one say? Do not seek so much to find the answer as much as to understand the question better. That is, yes, they are fortune cookies. Hey, buddy, come on. He's causing a ruckus. I know, bud. I kind of, I'm kind of inclined for this, like, mystery one. It's like a quest almost. What are the words in the back? Oh, we can learn how to say soybean, soybean milk. Duo Jiang. Our lucky numbers are 30, 47, 29, 24, 18, 11. Do not, yeah, I think this is a perfect one. Let's go with this one. We'll have this just sticking out of the corner. And I've got one giant gold button, I think, somewhere that I'd love to add to it. Find the group. 
Oh, here it is. There it is. There's a giant gold button right there in the back. Or even more in the middle like that. Okay, what name did we choose, you guys? Oh, I know what we can do with Emerald. I got an idea. I got an idea. Hold on. That? already kind of works but I, I have an idea for how to make it like a little bit more full yeah let's try this real quick I'm gonna take some of this wire I got this beautiful green wire here I'm gonna take our pliers cut it and let's see if we can't make this a little bit more crazy go in the center of this and I'm just gonna start twisting it around that and we'll make it like this Wait. stop stop you can't go up there it's trying to jump up onto the light box right now it just wants attention All right, let's see if we can't just like wind this around a bunch and make it look pretty. Like, a, like it, it'll be like a golden, like a metal ball of yarn if I can do it right. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I know. What a treasure. not bad right a little tiny like treasure of some sort just in there like that it's pretty good it's pretty good man this guy looks scary as heck though there we go that tooth out a little bit more tooth out I think our treasure chest is done. He's got all of his different treasures in there. Oh man, the emerald kind of like fell to the bottom though. Did it? Yeah, it's... Hold on. Maybe we should glue these teeth in. Okay, let me, let me see what glue we have. Let's test this out. I've got this tacky glue here. This might work. Um, I just want to test it before we before we do it though. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna crochet a little like tiny. Actually, you know what? The tongue, this tongue that we didn't use will work. And let's see if we can't. I'll try to glue this to this to see if the glue will hold it really well before I decide to do it for all of my teeth. Do you hear that? There's something on the roof. I think there's a squirrel or something trying to get in. Ah. Very sharp and metal. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Camera.
I think this will work. I don't know. I've never really used tacky glue to glue stuff onto yarn before, but I feel like it'll work. Let's try it. holding a little bit better. Scroll needs a thin red yarn attached to the outside. <clears throat> like a, oh, like it's tied together. Okay. I like that. That's a fun idea. Just a little bit of red yarn. It's a good idea. There, great idea, great idea. And it holds it nice and closed too. Looks like a little gift. Love that idea, good thinking. All right, so there's all of our stuff that's gonna go into our Mimic's mouth. And let's test this glue out now. Oh, you know, it holds it. It holds it a little bit better. All right, all right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go ahead and glue all these teeth in then. Let me see, someone said I should peel this off. So let's go ahead and peel the glue off. It might make our lives a little bit easier later on. careful with this. fingers that's okay okay looks like the top teeth are glued in pretty well I need something to wipe my hands off with okay. 
All right, top teeth are glued in pretty well, actually. Not bad. We got a little glue on the outside, but it'll probably dry clear, so hopefully. I just don't know if that's really going to hold it, but eh, worth a shot. That stuff is OG. That's right. All right. Now the bottom ones. The bottom ones are really loose, though. So we're really going to have to be careful with this. Fix the focus here so that we don't have to keep it focusing on focus, focus on focus. Okay. Jimbo throne. He was just in his Jimbo throne for like half a second. I heard it. I heard the beans of the bean bag. Beans. Out. This one in position. I'm shaking. I'm nervous. I don't want to mess this up. the tongue to be on the yes like that yes that's good that's perfect oh this this too is coming out the inside it's pretty good all right now these last teeth here one two finger to kind of mush everything together. Pretty good. Okay. You know what? It did hold the t teeth a little bit better. Thank you for pushing me to do that, you guys. I do have glue all over my fingers, but whatever. Okay. All right. Moment of truth, you guys. Let's let's add in all of our gold coins. Oh, this end's coming out a little bit too, but that's okay. Hold on, buddy. We're almost done. We gotta add in our gold coins. Stop. really heavy actually Chester! Yes! I'm so glad I got Chester. Okay, last chance to enter the giveaway is now, by the way. So enter that giveaway. And let's take a closer look at Chester before we choose our winner. Right, Jimbo? And we're going to stop yelling at me. 
No, I said we're gonna stop yelling at me. There it is. Okay. <coughs> Chester the Mimic. Oh my gosh, he's so cool. This thing is awesome. Wow. So cool. Oh my god, this might be one of the coolest things I've that we've ever made. That is so sick. Dude, what? <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my god, Jules is gonna think this is so creepy and cool. She's gonna love it. Oh, I love it so much. 10 out of 10, wood crochet again. Chester the Mimic. So cool. So cool! Yeah, it is! It's really cool! I know. Chester, you're so cool. Alright, guys. Na last thing we want to do today is uh, vote or choose a winner, right, Jimbo? Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. Let's choose a winner of the giveaway. Randomized poll. Yeah. Whoopsies. Yeah. Stop. Buddy, you gotta relax at some point. Oh wow, we have 144 people enter the giveaway. That's amazing. All right, turning off responses, opening up in Google Sheets. I think you just do them. Okay, 144. Random number generator. Stop. Okay. And the winner of the giveaway is... Yeah... The winner is Kathy. The uh, by the way, Kathy's name is. Uh, they suggested a kangaroo for the pattern that they want me to make, and they, they're. To 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 clarify, they go by C J C Gizmo, C J C Gizmo, Kathy. If you're in the chat right now, congratulations. If you're not in the chat, no worries at all. I'm gonna email you right after this. And congratulations on winning a, a yeah, a dragon crochet kit. Shimbo knows what he's saying, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Kathy with a K. Yeah. Oh man, you emptied the whole bag of pom poms, dude. Why'd you do that? That wasn't cool. Oh my God, he's ruining all my yarn. Raise the roof. Congratulations, Kathy. Thank you guys so much for watching again. If you can, like this video. We're trying to get this to 250 likes and we'll do another giveaway next live stream. And uh, regardless, uh, thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching. Me and Chester are gonna go get some Me and Chester are going to go get uh, some, what kind of food did I want to get? Oh, ramen. That's right. I'm going to go get some ramen. Um, thanks so much for joining. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. And Jimbo, do you want to say the last part? Or you just want to chew my yarn? Jimbo, tell him to hang up first. Yo, you don't want him to hang up first? All right. Bye. Oh my god, no, you hang up first. Stop. You're so bad. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for joining. Bye.